Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. This is Thorgenek and today we are talking about my user interface and specifically my weak auras. So I've just finished setting up my own weak auras for the Fury Warrior. I'm also going to be creating weak auras for arms and I've got one in progress but I'm not really happy with it yet for protection and I will be posting uh, I'll be posting links to those in the description of this video once I've got them completed. I'll post a link to the Fury one in the description of this video right away. But I wanted to give you a description of what everything is here, what we've got going on, and just show you some of the settings that I've used to create these different weak auras so that if you want to create your own, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to tweak what I'm using, you can do that as well. So there might be... It might look like there's a lot of information on the screen right now, but we're going to go through everything that's here because it's really pretty straightforward, I think. I mean, that's why I set it up this way. I think it's pretty straightforward. So right in the middle, right here, we've got our rage bar. So on the left, it's going to show you your current rage. So if you have, uh, I don't know, 61 rage, it'll have a 61 right here in place of the zero. And on the right, it has your maximum rage. This is probably always going to be 100 for BFA, but I just liked having another number on the side, even if it's always going to be the same number to balance that out. I don't know. That's just kind of my thought process for that. Um, let's talk about a couple of the outliers here. So up here, we've got Battle Shout. This is if you do not have Battle Shout active, this will appear on your screen. So if I close my weak auras and then remove Battle Shout, hey, there's this big weak aura right there to remind you, oh, hey, I should use my raid buff. So hopefully that'll be useful for all you guys as we're getting used to having raid buffs again. And then right here, this is a furious slash uh, zero buff tracker thing. So if you've taken furious slash in the talent tree and you have not used it yet, you don't have any stacks of the buff, this big guy will appear on the right of your screen just to remind you, hey, you need to use furious slash to get your buffs rolling. And then to go along with that, we've got a, a buff tracker that shows the stacks right here where that two is and then the duration of that buff. Okay, so that's kind of the, the outliers and then, you know, the furious slash tracker kind of goes in with that. So we've got the rage bar right here. We've got our enrage tracker. So that's going to be an important thing to keep an eye on is fury. So I want that really close to the middle of the screen right underneath my character. And then immediately underneath the bar, we've got our main ability trackers. So these are the rotational abilities that you'll be using more most often that you'll want to be keeping an eye on along with your current rage. So we've got bloodthirst. We've got raging blow rampage execute and then this one will either be dragon roar or blade storm if you have chosen one of those talents if you have neither of those talents then it'll just be a blank space right here uh just a little bit a little quick note on how these icons work so if you have used the ability and it is on cooldown these will be grayed out while we wait for the ability to come back if you don't have enough rage for to use rampage for um this one it'll be grayed out while you wait for that one and then once you get enough rage it'll light up um the raging blow a uh, weak aura has a cooldown tracker and a charge tracker if you're at two charges it will have this glow aura around it if you're at zero charges it will be grayed out if you're at one it'll just show one with the remaining cooldown for the second charge and then execute will light up once you are ready once you're able to use it otherwise it'll be grayed out and it'll have that cooldown tracker and then dragon roar and blade storm will be grayed out while they're on cooldown and they'll have that light up around them when they're ready so and i'll, I'll do some so a little bit of action on the target dummy just to demonstrate how everything's working once we uh once we go through what everything is uh, in this section right here, we've got our mobility and utility tools. That's kind of how I'm thinking of these. So we've got charge and heroic leap on the bookends. Then we've got pummel. We've got uh, berserker rage. So if you need to remove fears for any reason, you've got that there. And then intimidating shout and storm bolt. So these are just simple cooldown trackers. They'll they'll pop up once you're in combat, and then when you use those abilities, it'll track the cooldown for you, so you know when it's available to use again. On the right side here, this is just the only place I could really find for this. This shows the buff 
of Rallying Cry. So we have a cooldown tracker for Rallying Cry right here, along with um, Enrage Regeneration. These are your defensives. And then we've got a cooldown tracker for Recklessness. These are all kind of on the left side here, a little bit out of the way, but big and prominent so that you can keep an eye on them. And then I just couldn't find... I feel like the, the actual buff tracker for Commanding Shout is useful, but not critical to have in the middle of your screen. So I just kind of put it out of the way and in line with these ones here. On the right side, we've got... Uh, so these two right here, we've got your Recklessness Tracker. So this is for the buff. Once you use Recklessness, then the buff will show up right here so that you can keep an eye on it with your Rage Bar because you're going to be looking at this side of the Rage Bar a lot once Recklessness is up, uh, making sure you don't overcap. And then this is your Enrage Region buff tracker. So you use it and, and it'll start tracking the cooldown. And you'll see um, the remaining duration of the buff for Enrage Regen Regeneration right here. And that'll allow you to make sure that you get those last second bloodthirst in for the big heals. On the far right side, we've got a Piercing Howl tracker. This is more useful for PvP, but also if you're in some Mythic Plus and your tank needs to you know, get away and drop Necrotic Stacks or something, you might want to pop a Piercing Howl and that will slow your enemies. This just checks your current target. Um, you know, there's not really a good way to check every target that you're in combat with for a weak aura, but if you have it on your current target, then this will have the duration of Piercing Howl on them. This is the Whirlwind Buff Tracker, right? So when you use Whirlwind, uh, well, I'm not going to run and use it yet. But when you use Whirlwind, your next two single target abilities cleave. So this just tracks, you have the, like, the ticker in the background for the duration, but you also have the number of stacks that you have of that buff up there. So if you're in a cleave situation, this should help you keep an eye on, okay, how many more attacks do I have before I need to Whirlwind again so that I can cleave my opponents? And then right here, we've got a Victory Rush tracker. So if you have the Victory Rush buff active, this will pop up and it'll show you how much longer you have to use it to get that sweet, sweet little self-heal. So that wraps up all the weak auras. I believe I covered them all. So I'll just go ahead and hop into combat right here and we'll see what they, uh, what they all look like. So not everything loads immediately, right? If something's like a buff tracker, then we're not gonna load it. But once we start getting into combat, so we'll get our Furious Slash going. I'm not really using this talent in my day-to-day -day gameplay, but hey, I wanted to show the weak aura, so we're running with it right now. Um, you can see there's the Rampage icon. It lights up when you have it available. Um, Bloodthirst does not light up, but it is colored when you have it available. Um, we've got, <laughs> we let our Furious Slash stacks fall off there. Um, you can see the recklessness icon when it's available is lit up, so that makes it you know easier that you need to see to use it. Um, I know my my gameplay is not great right now. I'm trying to explain the weak weak ores. I'm not really paying attention to my rotation. Um, there's dragon roar. Let's see. Let's let's use some abilities here. So we'll use enraged region so you get the buff up there. We'll use commanding shout so you get the buff down here. Um, we'll piercing howl. We'll use a whirlwind to get that up there. And then we're not going to kill this dummy, so we won't see that victory rush uh, buff. But, you know, if I charge back in, we get the cooldown and charge. If I pummel, we get that. Um, you know, let's just kind of pop everything here. All right. So that kind of covers that. Oh, and then there is there is one more weak aura, so let me hop out of combat. And if we take Siege Breaker... There will be a weak aura for it down in the left-hand corner right here. And then there should also... There's not a buff tracker for it. I didn't create a buff tracker for it, but um, depending on what your UI is, you should have a you know a buff tracker that's pretty prominent. I have one on my target right here, which is right in line with where I probably have it for a weak aura. So. Yeah, those are my weak auras. I will include a link to the import string for my weak auras in the ticket description. Please let me know if you have any questions about how I set these up. Um, actually, we can go ahead and take a look at just a couple of these. So let's take a look at the Rampage. Actually, let's take a look at the Raging Blow one because that's a little more complicated. So what we've done is I've just created the display so this just has like the positioning, the fonts, the trackers. We've got two text trackers. The first one uh, shows percent %P, this is progress, and this, will, so this is the timer. And then we have uh, percent %S in the second text field. These are the um, little text things that appear on top 
of the actual icon for the spell and the percent s shows the number of stacks that you currently have available for that icon for that buff um, I checked cooldown for this. That's what shows the rotating ticker in the background behind the um, text layer. For the trigger, so we have a couple of triggers. The first one is a status type, and it is a cooldown progress spell. And then we've entered raging blow for the spell. And I have it set to show always. You can also set it to show only if it's on cooldown or if it's not on cooldown. I just like having my weak auras for abilities that I'm going to be using all the time to always show. Um, so that's the first trigger. And then the second trigger is just an action usable. So it's status under type and then action usable. And this is important for the for a couple of things. First of all, for the glow and then also for the um, the desaturation the way that it's grayed out when you don't have any more charges available that comes into play under conditions on the tab at the top here so for the first condition i have if the stacks equal two then set it to glow this is for trigger one um, the second trigger is stacks equal zero and then it's just desaturated so actually that second action usable one um, that's we'll look at execute real quick so that we can see that so we have a second trigger for execute that's action usable and the conditions are if trigger two that's the action usable condition is active true so it's true that that trigger is active then we have it glowing and if it's not true that it's active so if execute is not available in other words then we have it desaturated which means it's kind of grayed out um so for a buff tracker in weak auras, what you're going to do is under the type, you can see there's tons of enraged spells in the game, but the, the selector for it is actually, it's pretty smart. It's a pretty well-designed piece of technology. But so for the buff, we just select aura and then you type in the aura name that you want to find. So that's just enrage. You can also use the spell ID, um, but I prefer to just type in the name for the most part, unless we're having trouble selecting the correct one. Uh, you want to select, because you're tracking an aura, you're going to select on yourself, which is player. Or a type, you're going to select buff. The other option is debuff. And then you have it show on buffed slash debuffed. And you have it, um, I have all of mine load in combat and not in a vehicle. And so the way you have this one set up and if you download it and import this you can look at it, all the different settings and stuff that i have selected but that'll show you know when you have enrage active it'll pop up this little icon and it'll show you how long it's going to be active for um let's take a look at one more i wanted to show one of the uh where is it piercing howl so this one is a debuff which you can set up and the way that's set up is you just select debuff instead of buff on your target. I, there is a multi-target setting. I've never really used that. Um, I'm usually only concerned with slowing the target that I'm actually chasing. And then all the settings here are the same. I do have it set up to only track my own because if there's other warriors, um, this is primarily for PvP combat. So if there's other warriors using Piercing Howl, I just want to focus on is mine up or not. Um, yeah, so that's how I've got my weak or set up. Um, if you have any questions about that, be sure to ask them in the, com in the comments down below. I will update the description of this video once I've got the protection and arms weak or is active, or maybe I'll just make a quick video uh, announcing that I have them available and released, and I'll go ahead and link to them on that. That's probably a better route to go, so we'll go with that route. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for taking all the time. Sorry, I rambled on a lot longer than I intended to here, but my weak auras are available, so go ahead and check out the link in the description for those. If you like this content, if you like these videos and all that I'm doing with World of Warcraft content, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It helps us out because we get more subscribers and we get more people able to watch the content, and it helps you out because you get to see when we release a new video. So win-win situation if you like what you're seeing. All right, until next time, guys, have a great day and bye-bye.